And throughout the month, we've brought you live coverage from areas that highlight black history in Kansas City. Today is no different. 41 Action News anchor Ray Daniel live this morning for us at the American Jazz Museum. But before we talk about the rich history there, we want to touch on where it stands now after facing serious financial battles in recent years and in recent months, especially Ray. So many venues like the museum itself have been really struggling to keep their doors open over the last year. Where is the museum stand right now financially? Yeah, T Taylor, I want to note that, you know, back in 2018, there was a report that called for a complete rebirth of the museum. And you might remember back then, the city actually helped the museum by forking over more than $700,000 to help settle past debts. Now, new leaders are optimistic about the future. Meet the new executive director, Rashida Phillips. Excited to come back to Missouri. That's my home state. I was born and raised in St. Louis. And really do the show me thing that we say that Missouri does is show everyone how outstanding we can be. She's been at the American Jazz Museum just over a year. Yeah, I think admittedly I have a high standard, right? Coming from Chicago, a world-class city that really has a good mix of arts and culture along with sports and sort of the other entertainment industry. So I'd like to see that growth continue to happen here in Kansas City. And that growth is happening. Phillips says the museum has come a long way from a 2018 audit that reported low morale among the staff, stale exhibits featuring dated technology, and a lack of a clearly defined vision. We have completed quite a bit of those mandates that were put forward to us. We've hired in people that really have an expertise in what they're doing, preserving the artifacts, looking at opportunities to grow. Funding from the city has fluctuated over the last five years to help the museum stay open anywhere between 550,000 to a million dollars a year. The city still remains a critical stakeholder for us and we're appreciative of all that support. Right now, they're receiving 850,000 from the city with possible cuts as the city looks to fix the 70 million dollar deficit due to the pandemic. The museum is also feeling the effects of COVID-19. So we've got about 35% or so of population coming through here to visit us. While the pandemic and past years of financial troubles took the museum offbeat, Phillips is confident 2021 will be a different story. Right, and we know that our money is not rolling 100% because things are down in terms of population coming through here. But our place is stable, and I can guarantee you that it's up from here. So we're really excited. So leaders actually stated that, um, you know, they've been, been doing so much in terms of trying to do those cost saving measure, measures such as temporary furloughs until the PPP funding came through, as well as collaborating with the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum when it came to working together. So admissions and things like that and also changing their hours. So there's still a lot left when it comes to talking about the city budget. They said they are optimistic right now. It is in the very early preliminary stages. And of course, there's public hearings that are going to be happening until that budget is adopted later in March. Back to you. Ray, thank you so much.